Hey y'all, today we're in the kitchen. We're gonna make a hummingbird cake. My family's coming in for the weekend and I'm very excited. Let's get to cooking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sift three cups of all-purpose flour in the sifter. And I'm just using this little strainer. Let me get a... This will be the easiest way to do it instead of getting my sifter out. I don't sift a lot of things, but I do cakes a lot of times. I'm going to add in two cups of sugar. Just sift that through. Well, forget that, Jack. I'm getting the old-fashioned sifter out. That's too hard. What was I thinking? That was a arm workout. I'm actually sweating. I'm going to have to get me a Coke. Forget that. There you go. Whew, that was a lot easier. So now we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to add one half of teaspoon of salt and we're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon so i'm going to sift it in now i'm just going to stir these together little huddy told about this uh whisk on his video and uh, for some reason it's um uh, not working but anyway it's a danish whisk i've saw it on a lot of different youtubes it's a it's for bread making but you can use it like huddy said for whisking eggs for stirring up this it's just great i love it my daughter miranda got me this she got me two of these so while i'm thinking about it my neighbor chris gave me some turkey stock that she made isn't that beautiful so i can't wait to make some soup or something out of that thank you chris Okay, next we're going to add one cup of chopped pecans, and I've already chopped them, and I'm adding them now. Now, we're just going to set this aside. Now, we're going to add three eggs. We're going to beat those in a separate bowl. I'm going to add three-fourths cup of applesauce. I think that's a little more than that. I'm just guessing. That's some applesauce that I canned. I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to add one-fourth cup of canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, too. I'm going to mix it together. And I'm going to add... A about one and a half, two teaspoons of vanilla. Maybe a little smidgen more. Next, I'm going to add, let me get a spoon. I'm going to add one cup of crushed pineapple. I don't really drain it. Uh, I spoon it out because I, I do like the cake to be moist. So I spoon it out and kind of let it drain off the spoon, but I, I do leave some juice in there. Two cups of bananas chopped. I'll just slice them. Just stir this up and mix, mix it. All right. This cake does not go in a mixer. You have to do this by hand, which is not hard. And all you're going to do is just mix the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And stir them together until it's all moistened. You will not beat this cake in a mixer or with your hand. You know, with your hand. You're just stirring it. Just stirring it to get the dry ingredients wet. I can promise you this is not as hard as what I was doing with that sifter <laughs> until I got the old-fashioned sifter out. You know, old-fashioned ways are just always the best. They really are. 
course, I like a food processor for my butter rather than a churn. And I like a washer rather than a scrub board. My Grandma Cochran, she scrubbed other people's clothes on a scrub board to pay for my mama's piano lessons. Isn't that something? My mama played in church for years. She taught us how to play the piano. Sweet memories. All right, I think this is done. So I've got my oven preheating to 325. I've got three, it says nine inch cake pans. I don't know if these are eight or nine, I don't know. Uh, cake pans sprayed with Pam, and that's basically what I do. Uh, for those of you that's noticed this little thing, it's a new microphone. I've had so many complaints about uh, the sound and uh, my lighting, so I'm trying to fix that. I promise y'all, I am not, which y'all know I'm not a professional. I'm just a woman in her kitchen cooking and sharing the love. I mainly did this for my girls, like I told y'all on oh, another uh, video. And, but I hope this helps. Y'all can let me know if the lighting's better. You can let me know if the um, sound is better. I would appreciate your input. Be different. So I'm going to put these in the oven. Hey, Google, stop timer. Don't that look good? Yeah. We're going to let them cool for about 10 minutes. And then, um, in the meantime, we're going to be making the icing. Go ahead and tell you, do not overcook your cake. Uh, it, it has fruit in it, and it's, it needs to be a moist cake. So, as long as it is, let's see if I can get, get it over here. If it's pulling away from the sides like that, you'll know it's done. And of course, it's not jiggling. I didn't even stick a fork in it because um, because I know, you know, that it's done. I can tell by the way it's pulling away from the sides. Uh, in my oven, I have hot spots, so uh, some get brown, some not so brown. That doesn't matter as long as it's pulling away from the sides, but don't overcook it. You don't want just a mass of flour with a bunch of fruit in it. So we've got cream cheese, butter, confectioner's sugar, and vanilla flavoring. That's what's going into our ice. Well, I've had my cream cheese and my butter softening for uh, probably two or three hours. Um, Y'all, I quit buying paper plates, and then the holidays came, and now, now I have paper plates everywhere, so I'm using them. So I'm going to start out by putting the cream cheese and the butter in my mixer and whipping them. It calls for one and a half pounds of uh, confectioner's sugar, so I probably put mm, close to three pounds in here. And I'm going to dip it into the cream cheese and the butter as it's whipping it, uh, probably a cup or two at a time and just do it real slowly until it mixes in and gets the consistency I want. So I've got my icing done. These are still a little warm, but I'm going to see if I can flip them out of the pan. Perfect. Don't think they'll all come out perfect because they don't. Perfect. Yay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now they got to cool completely before I ice them. So this is the consistency. I like it just so it, I, it's easily spreadable. So I've got my icing ready and we are just waiting on those layers to cool. I cannot wait. This is a beautiful cake. So I've got my icing, my first layer, and some people turn it over, some people don't. I'm not going to because it's so pretty and it's not crummy, you know, got crumbs on it or anything. And I'm just going to start icing 
the first layer. Now I double my icing recipe because I do not like to run out of icing. I can also use this on sugar cookies or cupcakes or anything like that. So whatever I have left over, I'll just put in the uh, refrigerator and we'll have it on something else. This is such an easy cake to make, would make a beautiful gift for somebody. Now to clean up the bottom of this, I just get a wet paper towel and just go right around the cake, twirling it, and just clean up the cake plate. I think it's beautiful, but we're not through. I have just a few nuts left over, very few, and uh, you can put pecan halves on this. You can put the leftover nuts you have like I am, and I just put it on the top, make it very pretty. Sweet Hunter's got fried okra, pinto beans, and cornbread waiting on him. It's his favorite meal. And now a hummingbird cake. And he will be into it, I can guarantee you that. He loves hummingbird. Woo! Drop it in the cake, Val. Isn't that beautiful, though? I think it's beautiful. Y'all won't believe it, but I was doing a picture from my thumbnail. I'm trying to get where my glasses aren't glaring. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can just sit down and glasses not glare. I don't know. I don't think so. I was trying to get a thumbnail, which is a picture for the video, and the whole cake went sideways. I almost lost it. <laughs> oh me this is what it is let's try this again y'all go cook something i'm not turning this sideways it's too pretty isn't that beautiful Hey Siri, call Miranda, sale. And then I take a, I take a video <laughs> and towels in the background, drawers open. <laughs> what can I say? Let's try this again. Y'all go cook something. <laughs>